Okay, so I shook the samples and now we're gonna process them in real time. All we need is this jarfilter.com uh, screen. And these are, I just shook these, probably saw. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just process the samples quickly. We're gonna go the first one, give it a little bit of a shake, let it drain. You can either peek in the bottom here or do what I like to do. Dump your bees out. And then use our screen. No. And that's it for that. And I'm just gonna kind of breeze through these to show you real time processing. I really need like a flat piece of wood for this tailgate. If anybody's got any cool ideas for tailgate workbenches, hit me up. Another zero. So far, so good. Great time to make a video. Another one. So we have zero, 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 one, one. Now normally I'd be putting numbers in that, but you're my phone right now. Four. A little napkin jot there. On to seven. Zero.
last but not least. Six. So we got zero, 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 one, one, four, zero, and six. So that's real time analysis um, of eight samples. Hopefully you found this useful. Hopefully you can apply this to your own operation. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you the next one.